Yo, yo, what's good game fans, or should I say boxing fans over the world? In this video, I'm going to be reflecting what I consider my best boxing games of all time. Okay, let me jump on the bandwagon of the boxing hype. Considering the Mayweather and Pacquiao fight is shortly approaching, I thought what better way to reflect over the best boxing games of all time that I have ever played. As far as sports games are concerned, boxing games certainly bring one of the finest competitive thrills when it comes to that genre. I have been fortunate to have been around majority of the best eras of gaming, so I have played a lot of boxing games over the past 20 years, so this list is definitely competitive. I must admit though, through all these gaming errors, it is pretty difficult to pick a top 10 as there would be some good, some really bad boxing games that have been released over the period of time, so it was hard putting this particular list together. I have tried my utmost best to avoid putting multiple games within the series to allow for more varied lists, but some of the games were so exceptional from the same series, I've had to put a couple in here. Anyway, no more chit chat, let's get to it. Let's put our gloves on and review what I consider my top 10 boxing games of all time. The number 10 position is Victorious Boxers Ippo's Road to Glory. For me, Victorious Boxers Ippo's Road to Glory is an insane boxing game. It bases its style on Japanese manga and therefore is extremely cartoony. As cartoony and humorous this game is, I must admit that this is no ready to rumble and no punch out, but nonetheless, it's still an entertaining game. What I personally love about Victorious Boxer is the game mechanics and the way the controller feels when you play. The game mechanics is just awesome. The way the controller is set, it makes it feel like a real boxing boxing experience. In comparison to most of the big boxing games out there, this is surprisingly a good look. Considering that this game was released more than 15 years ago back in 2000 on the PlayStation 2, it's still a great game to reminisce over. Taking position number 9 is Wii Sports Club The Boxing Game. Okay, I thought this is a little weird putting this on the list as I suppose you don't count it as a serious boxing game, but at the same time it's probably one of the most fun you'll get whilst trying to keep fit. Wii Sports Club The Boxing Game also has a great competitive edge to it, which is essential in boxing game genres. In comparison to the original Wii Sports Boxing that was released back on the Wii, the Wii Sports Club version offers an online mode which I feel is a fantastic feature as you now get the opportunity to compete with people across the globe. The whole Wii Sports Club game is superb, but I'll leave that for another video and another review another time. Stealing the number 8 position is Greatest Heavyweights released back on the Mega Drive back in the days. This was a classic game on the Sega Mega Drive. Me and my cousin spent countless hours battling it out on the Mega Drive. Even though this is a dated game and was released over 20 years ago, it still brings back some great memories. Originally, I had the Holyfield version of the game in this particular spot, but the Greatest Heavyweight brings way more to the table than that game did. The gameplay for the Mega Drive of a boxing game is just simply superb. If you reflect on the graphics, the gameplay, the music, and even just the game mechanics from back in those days, you have to really respect what the developers were able to do with the technology back then. I definitely respect this game, and it's definitely a blast from the past. Taking the number 7 position is Super Punch-Out on the Super Nintendo. How on earth can I ever create a boxing top 10 list and not place this classic on there? All who ever owned a Super Nintendo can relate just how great this game was. It is a compliment to the original NES version, which we all must agree is a classic in itself. Super Punch-Out has some of the most insane opponents you'll ever encounter in a game. The likes of Piston Hurricane, Bear Huggy, Mr. Sandman and Super Macho Man is enough to amaze you. All in all, this game made me a proud Super Nintendo owner and will always be remembered as a Super Nintendo classic.
week in the number six position is Knockout Kings 2001. The Knockout Kings series certainly brought the boxing genre back to life and for me Knockout Kings 2001 was unreal. The realism of each character is what really got me for this game. The characteristics and personalities I thought were really well conveyed. When I first played this game I had to take my hat off to EA as the small details was well defined such as the arenas, the amount of characters to pick from and the tournaments that you could fight in. Graphically it was a great game and a must play for all boxing fans. The amount of game modes that was found in this game just amazed me. Definitely a classic, definitely a big boxing game. Check this out. Stealing the number 5 position is Rocky. I absolutely love this game on a Nintendo GameCube. I know it got released on a few other formats, but I had this game on a GameCube. As a massive fan of the Rocky movie, playing this game brought back so many awesome memories. In addition to the superb story mode, the game mechanics was fantastic, the gameplay was also another thing that amazed me, and how smooth and fluid this game was was just so crazy. The training mode is so epic and fun, and I never thought Auto Train would be so much fun but trust me, it feels like a sense of achievement when you're training in this game. All in all, this is a superb boxing game and glad that I had the privilege of playing this game. Taking the number four position is Fight Night Champion. For me, this is probably the last decent boxing game that I have played. And for this being released back in 2011, shows that we are in need of a new Fight Night or even a boxing game as a matter of fact on the next gen. This game has absolutely everything you need in a boxing game. The story mode is excellent, even though Jack Frost was a pain in the neck in the last fight. The career mode is another fantastic feature. For those who haven't even played this game, I would suggest you even try and picking this game up, even though you're a few years late is definitely still fun to play today this game is a complement to the fight night series and definitely a game that you can still have fun playing in the next five to ten years it's a trust me brilliant game Taking the number three position is Ready to Rumble Boxing. No one can deny that Ready to Rumble series is the game that brought fun and excitement into the boxing game genre. The fact that there were super finishing moves with every character just brought the game to another level. This to me is a Dreamcast classic and certainly deserves being high in the list of all boxing games. People might not consider it as a serious boxing title, but believe me when I say as soon as the bell rings, the game gets really serious inside that ring. The amount of combos is unbelievable and will have you play playing for hours. Just talking about this game puts me in the frame of mind when this game was getting promoted and not even released yet and I was so astonished by what I was seeing by all the promotion this game got. This is such a phenomenal boxing game and definitely worth the number three position in my list. Taking the number two position is Mike Tyson Punch Out. It's a bit controversial, I know that this game isn't number one, but at the end of the day, it's my list, and I've got my justifications of why this is at number two. In terms of a classic boxing game, this was one of the first that definitely put the boxing game genre on the map for me. This game introduced us to the beloved Little Mac, and most true gamers will have fond memories of playing this classic back in the days on the NES. This game will always go down in history as a classic game back on the NES. This game was one of the pinnacle in gaming and one of the reasons why I absolutely love the NES. What makes this game so amazing is the fact that even though it's old and some may say it's dated but the gameplay is still so addictive. All the characters are very memorable and the controls are superb. All in all this is a fantastic game but still couldn't steal my number one spot.
claiming position number one is Fight Night Round 3. Fight Night Round 3, hands down, is one of the greatest boxing games that I have ever played. The reason why this game stole the number one position is because it is a two-player game unlike the Mike Tyson puncher. This game is pretty much a pick-up and play and definitely how fast it flows, you get fully engaged into the combat. The haymakers are epic and when you counter and parry your opponent and spark them, you actually feel the impact. The amount of hours that I put into playing this game is crazy and I still feel like I can give anyone a run for their money now. I feel like Floyd Mayweather when I play this game. I have dished up the countless amount of beatings across the globe and I don't even recall ever being beaten but I guess I only have selected memory when it comes to my defeats. The soundtracks, the gameplay, the arenas, the commentating, everything is superb about this game and all in all definitely a classic boxing game over the years. Anyway peeps, thanks for taking the time out to watch my top 10 boxing games of all time. Please subscribe, like and comment below to let me know what your favorite boxing game of all time is and definitely pull it in the comments below with your list and i'll definitely check it out and tell you what i think until next video people peace out